Next, a popular beach in Norfolk has been closed and may not reopen for decades because of the alarming speed of erosion. The coastline at Hemsby, just north of Great Yarmouth, has suffered significant collapse, threatening homes and businesses. It is, of course, a natural process, but it appears to be speeding up. Another alarming indication of the impact of global warming on all of us. From Hemsby, Ellie Pitt reports. Uninterrupted views of the sea and miles of sandy beach nearby. The desire to live on Norfolk's coastline is understandable. But making a home in this beautiful landscape comes hand in hand with the danger of losing it all to the ocean. Well, I obviously saw from the window what had happened. Massive shock. Sarah has lived in Hemsby for five years, but this weekend woke up to find five feet of her garden had crumbled away. Very, very scared. I couldn't sleep that night. I was really terrified. Um, I'm just frightened that it's going to happen again. If, if it does, I've got nowhere to go. I can't buy anywhere else. I've got, no, you know, I've got nothing. One access point to the beach has now been closed for public safety because the winds and high tides that hit Hemsby took with them part of the land. Just two days ago, where I'm stood was completely covered in sand up to the level here above me. But after what's called a surge event, it's been completely washed away, revealing these old coastal defences. The problem that the people living and working here are finding is that these surge events are happening more often. Similar storm surges deemed once in 50 year events battered this coastline in 2018 and 2013, when homes were lost to the power of the sea. Coastal erosion is a natural process, but other environmental issues are believed to be increasing the speed at which sand dunes are disappearing. Our beaches are lowering, we think, because of climate change and sea level rise, and therefore every tide, every high tide and every tidal surge is able to do more damage to the cliffs and the sand dunes that we have because they're soft and easy to erode. The cost of protecting the coast has soared into the millions and the local authority can't afford to pick up the bill. But for those who live here, with every winter that passes, the sandy cliff creeps ever closer to their back door. Ellie Pitt, ITV News, Hemsby.